When I put together the water cooled build for my review of the Cooler Master H500P, I wanted to use the new ASUS ROG Strix Z370E motherboard. And of course that meant that I also needed to pop in one of the new Coffee Lake CPUs from Intel. Unfortunately, as I am not yet on Intel's radar for pre-release product sampling, I have to go about getting most of my processors the same way that most everybody else does. This means that on October 5th, I was wearing out that refresh button on Newegg waiting for the new Intel Coffee Lake processors to go up for order. By the time the smoke had cleared, the only chip left for me to snag was the i3-8100. So this badass looking rig with a 360 millimeter radiator is rocking a non-overclockable 65 watt processor. I figured while I had this system together, however, it might be a good opportunity to get some testing in on a new i3. So let's fire up some benchmarks and see how it does. Let's just take a minute and talk about what Intel has done with this 8th generation. Unlike Skylake and Kaby Lake, where the i3s featured two physical cores with hyperthreading, this time around we actually have four full cores to work with on the low-end platform. Operating at 3.6 GHz, the i3-8100 also keeps the power requirements down, as you won't necessarily need more than the included stock cooler if you don't mind that look. There is no turbo on this chip, nor can you overclock. Still, at about $115 US, it has the same core configuration as the Kaby Lake i5-7600K, which for a long time was seen as a fantastic value chip for gamers. It's also about half the price of an i5, and unlike the more expensive Coffee Lake products, is actually available for purchase. i3s have always been a good value for gaming, as although you'll clearly be rendering fewer frames than something like an i7, they have enough horsepower to get the job done. I'm hopeful that Coffee Lake will continue this tradition. And this time around, I'm going to pair it with the RX Vegas 64, a GPU about on par with the GTX 1080. I'll be comparing the i3-8100 against its direct competition from AMD, the Ryzen 3 1200. Both chips are four cores and threads, although the AMD processor is unlocked and overclockable. They are also both around the same MSRP, well under the selling price of the other two products in our test, the KB Lake i5-7600K and i7-7700K. The 7600K has the same four cores as well, so it will be interesting to see these two square off. It might just end up being a difference of operating frequency, as performance is likely similar clock for clock. I chose to run the processors at a decent, stable overclock for this test, representing what most people should be able to achieve. The Ryzen 1200 was set at 3.7 GHz, the i5 at 4.6 GHz, and the i7 at 5 GHz. All tests were run with 16 gigs of 3000 speed Patriot Viper Elite memory. The Vega 64 was run at all stock settings. The tests were all also run at 1080p to try to make the processor the limiting factor as opposed to the graphics card. Let's take a look at some gaming and synthetic results and see which processor allows our GPU to stretch its legs the most.
the obvious exception of two of our games that had frame rate caps at 1080p, the i3 put up some pretty impressive numbers, especially compared to the Ryzen 3 1200. The 8100 beat out the 1200 in every test, and often came close to the i5 even when clocked a full gigahertz lower. It might be an interesting experiment to downclock the i5 and see what kind of comparable results we get. Yes, the 7600K still takes the crown, and yes, the i5 still comes in second place, but the overhaul in core configuration for this generation's i3 actually makes it a really appealing product for your gaming system, especially if you're on a tight budget. At $115, it seems like a pretty good deal, and the fact that Z370 is a brand new platform means that hopefully it will be relevant for at least the next couple of years. So what do you think of the Coffee Lake i3-8100? Let me know down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to get subscribed to the channel if you're not already. And if you want to support what I do here, take a look through my merchandise store at the link down in the video description. As always, guys, thanks for watching.